Hello and welcome to this After Effects basic tutorial and we're going to be looking at workspaces how to create different workspaces and delete workspaces how to modify workspaces and how to access and reset the workspaces that After Effects ships with OK, workspace is what you have in front of you when you start up After Effects this is your workspace with panels and frames now what do I mean by panels and frames? Well, if we look up here in the top right hand corner you'll see that I've got two tabs I've got the Info tab and the Audio tab. Each of these tabs are what we might call panels, and they are inside a frame. Now the frame can change its size. So if I click to one side and pull it, you can see I've made my frame wider. And if I pull down here and keep pulling, I've made my frame longer. And now I can see more of the audio. So the Info panel and the Audio panel are inside this frame. But what if I don't think the audio panel should be inside this frame? What if I want it inside another frame? How do I do that? Well, to the left of the word audio, you see these little sort of hash dots. If you click, hold and drag, don't let go, just drag and pull it to one side, you start to get all these different lavender color areas. And these are called drop zones. Now, if you drop it either here or here, you're going to be creating a new frame to the side of the composition panel and what's here in the audio panel. So if I click just here and drop, there is a new frame with a single panel in it, which is the audio panel. But what if I want to tab the audio panel with, say, the composition panel? How do I do that? Well, again, I click, hold, drag, and I drop it into the middle. And when I let go, now the audio is tabbed in this frame with the composition panel and the two are side by side. And likewise, if I click, drag and drop it at the bottom, it's going to go below, and I click and drag and do it at the top. I've got two options, one is just there, and the second option is you can actually take it right to the very top and make it go the whole length of your bar. Now, as you can see, I'm moving things around. I'm creating different frames and I'm moving panels around. When might this be really useful? Well, it might be extremely useful if, say, you have two monitors and you want to have your composition panel say on a completely separate monitor to the rest of the After Effects interface but that means we have to get this panel to float how do we get it to float well you move in the same way you click and hold the little hashed area here and move it and this time hold the control key on a PC the command key on a Mac and when you do so you will see that it becomes a floating panel and then you let go with your mouse before you let go of the control or command key and it becomes a floating window that you can then shift on to another monitor and move as you like and if you then want to bring it back again you just click hold and drag and drop it into a particular place any drop zone or any place that you want to make your interface look just right now I'm going to leave this one floating for the moment say I've got a floating window set up and this window is fantastic and it's actually on a separate monitor and it's doing exactly what I want it to do and I want to save that so that next time I come back if somebody else has fiddled with the workspace I want it to look exactly like this actually exactly like this is a complete mess but let's just say we want to save it for example what you ought to do is go to this area here where it says workspace you can also get this from the windows menu you go window workspace you get the same options well, I'm going to do it from this little drop down here but if it has disappeared bear in mind you can get it from the windows and you click the drop down and you go to new workspace click new workspace and you can name it so I'll call mine Andrews mad workspace click OK and you'll see up here Andrews mad workspace is saved and if you know windows workspace Andrew's Mad Workspace is one of the options that I have. And now, should the workspace be changed by somebody else, I can always get back to Andrew's Mad Workspace. Let's do that. Let's change this workspace. Let's move this, integrate it back into another frame and shift the audio panel down into something else. And uh, let's move things around and change how it physically looks. OK, so I've got a completely different look and um, it still says Andrew's Mad Workspace. What do I do? Well, what you do is you go down to Reset Andrew's Mad Workspace. And when you click Reset, it says, are you sure you want to reset it to its original layout? You click Yes, 
and there it is exactly as I previously made it. Now you may also have noticed that there are a number of other workspaces here. In short, Adobe have said what are the panels that are most needed to do specific jobs. So you might want to have the standard one. You click standard. Now standard has not changed because I was using the standard when I created Andrew's Mad Workspace. So what I need to do is click down and go reset standard. It says discard changes, yes. And that's how the original layout should have looked. And this is how you might want to start off something. It's giving you access to your project panel, your composition panel, the layers down here and the other bits and pieces that you may need to start. But what if you've got everything in and actually what you're interested in now doing is just working with effects. You click effects and simply it brings the effects panel to the fore. You haven't got the project panel anymore because you may not need it. But if you do need extra panels, you can always add them in. You go to windows and here are all the panels. So if I wanted to bring my project panel back in, here it is right down here. Click project and there's my project panel tabbed with my effects panel. And if I wanted to, I could save that as a new workspace. So there's effects, there's a whole series of others you can work through, motion tracking, and it just brings the tracker panel to the fore so you can get access to that. Or alternatively, you can have things like minimal, where it's got the minimal panels that they think you might need. Or alternatively, you might have undocked panels, where it's got a whole series of panels that are undocked, ready for you to put onto another monitor should you want to. These are workspaces that you can play with. Now, I'm just briefly gonna go back to Andrew's work Mad Workspace. What if I've created a workspace and actually I want to delete it? I'm not going to use it anymore and it's no use to me and I want to get rid of it. Well, you'd have thought you go to Workspaces or Windows Workspace, whichever works for you, and go down to Delete Workspace. So click Delete Workspace and when you look at the series of workspaces, it's basically saying which one do you want to delete and click down. The only one that's not showing is Andrew's Mad Workspace because you cannot delete a workspace that you are presently using. So if I want to delete Andrew's Mad Workspace, and believe me, I do, I click Cancel, and I go to any other workspace. I'm going to go to Standard. And now I'm going to click same one down to Delete Workspace, and you'll see that one of the ones that I can delete is Andrew's Mad Workspace. Click on that, click OK, and now you'll see that Andrew's Mad Workspace has completely disappeared. So that's how you can work with frames and panels, how you can customize things, how you can cause things to float. If you remember, you click and hold on the hash area, pull it, and then hold the control key, and it becomes a floating panel. But also how you can reset things if you get it completely mucked up and you don't know what's going on. Reset standard, discard the changes, yes. And it's back to how it started. Now, do use this feature because if you have a way of working that requires a particular layout, set up your workspace and save it. Because you can guarantee that somebody else will use your machine and they'll muck things up. And when you come back to it, you won't be able to use it properly. But because you had saved a particular layout, all you need to do is click that particular layout. And then you can reset it if you need to. And you're ready to go. Well, that's a quick introduction to the After Effects workspaces. How you can modify it and customize it. I hope you found this useful. My name's Andrew Davis, and thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.